Um, so we've been uh, studying whether infusions of umbilical cord blood could help children with cerebral palsy. And we started with autologous infusions, meaning infusions of the child's own cord blood if it happened to be banked when they were born. Um, and we performed a phase one and then a randomized blinded placebo controlled phase two study uh, looking at autologous cord blood in these kids. And we were able to show that uh, if the appropriate dose of cells were administered, that dose was 25 million cells per kilo or higher, that children had improvement in gross motor function measured on a scale called the GMFM uh, score and GMFCS scale. Um, we also showed that the improvement in function correlated with the increase in connectivity in the motor tracts on a whole brain connectivity studies. Um, we then went on uh, to perform an additional phase two study, also randomized but open label, looking at um, testing the dose effect in, using cord blood and comparing high dose unrelated donor publicly banked partially HLA matched cord blood infusions uh, as a single infusion um, to three infusions over a six month period of uh, cord tissue mesenchymal stromal cells or MSCs. And each of those arms were compared to a natural history control uh, where children did receive a cord blood infusion at the end of 12 months. Um, this is the study I discussed in the session um, at the um, uh, World Stem Cell Summit. Um, in that study, um, we learned that the cord blood at a very high dose, which was 100 million cells per kilo, did once again improve motor function in the cohort of children that received that infusion. Surprisingly, the cord tissue MSCs did not uh, cause an improvement in motor function. Um, and um, that was compared to cord blood or to the control arm. Um, that may be because um, we're looking in CP at kids with a static injury that occurred during uh, pregnancy or at birth and is now minimally two years old um, and or longer. And MSCs tend to work through modulation of inflammation. And in a child with CP at that stage of their disease, you wouldn't expect there, there was ongoing inflammation. Um, so from this latest study, uh, we concluded that that it, once again, we demonstrated an effect of cord blood infusion. Um, and we plan to pursue that in a randomized phase three multicenter blinded placebo controlled trial, um, uh, in the net, which we hope to open um, before the end of 2021. Um, and in that study, we hope to definitively answer the question as to whether cord blood can improve motor function in these kids. I'll make two comments. Um, with this dose effect, um, it is often difficult to achieve the dose, meaning 25 million to 100 million cells per kilo uh, using privately banked cord blood. And it's even more challenging in kids with CP because many of them were born prematurely or had some event around birth that was um, like a hypoxic event where cord blood could not be collected or only a small volume of cord blood could be collected. And so achieving that dose with privately banked cord blood can be much harder. And we elected to go with publicly banked units so that all children could have access to the therapy um, and we could achieve the higher doses we were targeting. So that will be what we do in the randomized uh, phase three study as well.